Hi everyone, uh, Jamie here. Some of you know that I made a video three years ago, three and a half years ago, uh, of my collection um, in Canada. Uh, it's been over three years, so I wanted to do another video because I've gotten a couple more things since then. I say that sarcastically, I've gotten lots more. Uh, so I'm just going to start from the beginning again and hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, just start with the door here. My wife bought me this really cool Jaws towel. I certainly was never going to dry off with it, so it's on the door. Uh, got this really cool uh, Jaws cinema sign. I got this from Wayne Savage. Uh, he makes all these really cool signs. He's over in England. I've got lots of stuff from him. He's great. Uh, if you ever want to get a hold of him and you can't, message me. I'll direct you to him. Um, just bought this in Martha's Vineyard. It's not even the right font, but I wanted it anyway. It's just kind of cool. Uh, start over here. These are autographs, but I'll do those last. We're going to start here on the wall. So, last time I did this video, I had two shelves on this wall and two shelves over there. Now I've got ten shelves because I just don't have enough room for everything. I still don't have enough room, but uh, we'll start over here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it there. Got my daughter on camera. She's loving doing this. Okay. Um, Jaws Cups. There's like a Universal Studios. I think this is like 1990 from Florida. Uh, thank God for eBay. And up in Canada, we have a thing called Kijiji. I know down in the States, you guys got Craigslist and a few other things. But Kijiji is our Craigslist. And I find all kinds of stuff on there. There's a couple of uh, original Jaws Cups. I got one from the, uh, the beautiful J Jim Beller. And uh, another one off of eBay, I just, they're pretty darn cool, right from 75, pretty awesome. I got this from uh, Jim as well, uh, just a drink, I drank out of it once, but I'm never going to drink out of it again, it goes on the shelf. Another Jim Beller uh, purchase, again, totally worth it. We don't get these things in Canada, the Walmarts up down in the States, they all have these things, can't get them in Canada. Uh, got this in the vineyard, just a nice drinking glass, again, I'm not going to drink out of it. Uh... Kijiji, Universal Jaws Cup. Why are you laughing at me, Jesse? My daughter's <laughs> laughing at me. This is pretty darn cool. Um, this is kind of funny. I got this off of eBay. It's just a little, from Japan, a little Jaws diorama. I don't know if you can see that. You zoomed in there, Jess? So, you see these things on eBay, and I'm like, hey, this is pretty cool. And Quentin, the shark, and I'm like, awesome. But there was nothing else in this picture to give it some scale to quote a Jaws line. So I thought this thing was about this big. <laughs> and then when the mail came and I get this little package like this, I'm like, well, what is this? It's not what I ordered and I opened it up. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> they tricked me. Can we zoom up again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was big. But I mean, I'm glad I have it, but I thought it was a lot bigger. Um, this is pretty cool. This is the Neo Flasher. That uh, exact same kind of, not the exact one that Hooper used, I wish it was, but uh, I got this off of eBay. Didn't have the sticker, but my friend Dan got me a sticker. God bless him. That's the great thing about Facebook, is you make all these friends in JAWS groups, and they become your friends. And you, people you're never going to meet, but you trade stuff with, and they're friendly to you, and you're friendly to them. And it's one of the great things about Facebook. Facebook sucks in a lot of ways, but JAWS stuff, it's awesome. Uh, what else we got here? I started making these, the Jaws uh, police badge for the Chief and for Deputy Hendricks. Uh, if anybody wants any, I have them, so in fact I have a bunch. Um, this is probably one of my most important pieces. This is a piece of the boat of the Orca II from I got from uh, Susan Murphy. God bless her. Um, very happy to have that. Another cool piece that I just got a couple of years ago is this is a piece of the original bridge, uh, the, the Jaws Shark Bridge that uh, Brody runs over when his son is uh, nearly attacked. And uh, old Mikey Waters down in, the, down in Martha's Vineyard there, he had got a piece of the bridge and he was uh, selling pieces and I was really happy to get one. And Mikey, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I love this piece. Um, I'm a sucker when it comes to Jaws stickers and stuff you see on eBay and stuff. There's a package of Jaws stickers that I haven't even opened because I don't want to open it because the packaging is cool. But I, can, I almost should buy two of them, one that I can open and one that I can leave sealed. 
And I love chocolate and I love Jaws and geez, look at that. So you gotta like that. Um, what else we got here? Little, another thing from Japan, Universal Studios, little Jaws gold. I don't know if I'd wear this as a necklace. It'd be kind of some pretty cool bling, but you know. Uh, and then you can see the Jaws Yahtzee here. I haven't opened that. Like that. This is cool. I got this. I ordered this from England as well. This is a Jaws bottle opener. And I'll just. Some of you already have this. Some of you don't. But I'll just whoops, drop the box. And, I mean. I'll never use it as a bottle opener, but I, I had to have it, and it's, I think it's pretty cool. The packaging is pretty cool. I like the black with the red. What else we got here? Um, okay, so here's another Jaws game that I got from Japan, actually. I'll show you this. It's kind of heavy duty, and it's literally like a, <laughs> you turn it on. And it lights up and what it is is you have all these keys or I guess they're supposed to be harpoons and you're harpooning the shark that you take them off of the ring here and one by one you stick them in the holes here and if you happen to get the right hole or I guess the wrong hole the jaws come down on you uh, my grandkids played with it for a little while there and uh, scared them which is pretty cool that's all I wanted to do was scare them <laughs> so here's a complete collection of the Jaws here. <laughs> here's a complete collection of the Jaws two cards that my friends got for me. Uh, just a, all the cards. It was they saw it at a yard sale or something. Thought of me, bought it, and that's that's another cool thing. Facebook lets people know that I love Jaws, and when they see stuff, they grab them for me. And uh, I was really really happy to get it. And then. So I get that, and then the last time I was in the vineyard, um, somebody had a set of cards for sale. It was really expensive. This is a full box of cards. Um, I didn't buy them because they were expensive, but as soon as I got back, uh, I found these on Kijiji. Really cheap, like 40 bucks for a whole box of 36, 36 packs with the gum still. So... I get it, I'm like, this is awesome. Great, because I almost paid like $200 American for a box. <laughs> and then I see somebody else has got one for sale on Kijiji again. And I realize, if you look close, one of the boxes is made by OPG and the other box is made by Tops. I don't know who came out with which one first. Now I have both. And they both are, the boxes are a little different. So I'm quite happy to have both of them. Um, so I got a jaw and I got the box for a set of Jaws 3 cards. I have the full set of Jaws 3 cards here, but I don't have a box yet. But somebody found, my friend of mine, Nick, saw this in a shop and it's just the box for it sealed up. He said, is that something you'd like? And I'm like, darn right. So he got it for me. Um, and I did get, this is a Jaws 2 movie program, reprinted obviously. It's in really good condition, but it's an actual... Jaws 2 program, which is really, really cool. And then, again, eBay is your best friend. I found a Jaws 3 program, but a Japanese Jaws 3 program. So, pictures are cool, but all the writing's in Japanese. But it's still cool to have. One day, maybe I'll get lucky enough to meet Joe Alves and get him to sign it for me. Um... much here well, let's get up to the oh I haven't yeah I didn't finish this shelf I'm sorry geez okay I just got this this very very cool got myself a full box of quince mints <laughs> and what that is stop laughing Jesse what that is is 18 boxes 18 packages of quince mints I think I saw these for sale in the vineyard and I almost bought one little container, but I was able to get a whole box of quince mints. And uh, I'm not opening them. 
So if my daughter wants some, she can't have it. Speaking of Joe Alves, here's the Joe Alves Designing Jaws book that is really, really cool. Um, so many cool pictures of when he was designing the film. I highly recommend this. I haven't got the other one yet, but I will. My aunt went down to Florida and bought me back a few things because my wife gave her some money and said, buy some Jaws stuff for Jamie. And so here's a really cool, I haven't put it together yet, but I don't even know if I want to because that would mean wrecking this. But just a cool little Jaws diorama here. I can't help it. I don't, I don't, want, I don't think I want to open it. Uh, the Jaws puzzle, 500 pieces that I, I couldn't do. I started it and then I had to get my daughter, who's a Jaws, uh, who, she's not a Jaws freak, she's a puzzle freak. I had to get her to finish it for me. Uh, as you can see down here, just some things I have. Um, this is a this was a, a, a photo that um, at one of the co Comic Cons that uh, Michael Smith got me, and then I went to meet Susan Backlany a few years ago, and this was one of the flyers. And then uh, over here, up here at the top. Okay, so we've done this bro now. So now we're getting into the music. So here's the soundtracks. So I've got the soundtracks on LP for the first three films. One, two, and three, obviously. I have a couple of eight tracks for the, fir for the first film. eBay, of course. Uh, also the CD, CD. And then the cassette. And then I just got the eight track for, this, for the sequel. Because the music in Jaws 2 is, is really, really good. Really good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just showed my daughter and her boyfriend the first two films, and strangely enough, my daughter said that she yeah. likes the second film more than the first film, so I'm not even sure she's totally my kid. So, but I like Jaws too, don't get me wrong. So here's the cassette, and I had the soundtrack on CD, which is cool. Uh, here, this is a Turkish VCD of the film. Uh... I haven't even opened it. I didn't want to open it, but it's a Turkish uh, VCD, video, video <laughs> CD. <laughs> it's so funny, kid. Uh, this is the shark. The shark from Jaws is like, a, like some sort of comedy thing that somebody got for me. I thought it was funny because it says Jamie Records, which is my name. Um, so here's the soundtrack on LP for the third film and the cassette. And here's a couple of watches I got. Basically, same picture, but uh, two different style of watches. I don't uh, don't know if I'll wear them or not. I might wear this one one day. Who knows? Um, and then this is the... Someone got me this. It's the Lalo Schifrin version of the Jaws soundtrack. Disco mix. So, go figure. Uh, this little thing here, this is new. I'm sure some people have seen this already. I haven't, I've got a couple of them. And I didn't want to open it, but uh, just to show you what it does, if you don't already have it. It's just a little Jaws picture box. and Pretty scary. But it's cool. And it goes on and on. So, I've got a couple of those if anybody wants one. Um, let's go up here. Alright, this is the new Jaws Hallmark. Christmas tree ornament. Uh, not bad. It's a little different than the original one. It looks like it's more from like Jaws of Revenge, but it's still Jaws. Had to have it. Uh, my wife just got me this for Christmas. It's the, uh, the Jaws, little Jaws things. She got them off of Amazon and they're, I thought they were pretty cool. So she got them for me. God bless her. Uh, little Jaws plastic cutout of the title in the right font, which is cool. Um, just want to show you this. A lot of collectors, I'm sure, have this already, but we happened to be in the States a couple years ago and uh, was at Toys R Us. And if you look at this Jaws thing here, this uh, reaction toy, I grabbed it. I got it for like 11 bucks. And then I see them going on eBay for like three, four, five hundred dollars $500. And it's literally just because Quint's in its mouth and it's bloody and it's a rare one. And I didn't realize I was getting a rare one when I got it. So I got pretty lucky there. Pretty lucky. Uh, with those, I got three Jaws action figures there, and I will admit that I have worn my Jaws tie a couple places, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and of course the, I got some barrels here, my friend made, I'll talk about him later, but, uh, and of course I've got the McFarlane Jaws model there, which is one of my favorite pieces as well. Always wanted one of those. I got one a few years ago. A friend of mine bought it, my, my Jaws partner in crime got it for me. Um, I'm going to talk about my autographs last. So we'll go over here to the next row here. Oh, I should talk about this first. Yeah, look down here, Mr. Quint. So, a friend of mine down in Texas, he just happened to comment on my video from three years ago, and he mentioned that he makes the he makes these models, and it's and he sort of showed me pictures. I'm like, okay, well, I gotta get one. So I got the Quint all the way from Texas, and uh, if uh, anybody wants, his name's Harry. He's awesome. If anybody wants one, let me know. I can put you in touch with him. He does excellent work, as you can see. He, has done, he does everybody, and he's, he's awesome. He doesn't just do Jaws, either. He does lots of stuff. Ah, okay, so I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's a little floating Jaws little model thing there, which is pretty cool. There's the box that came in, which I like. And then I got this a few years ago, which I was really happy about. The 3D poster. And of course, I can't do anything without talking about the pandemic, but the one good thing that came out of the pandemic was they came out with Jaws masks. And I had to get some. Got some for Just Christmas. <laughs> well, I got some for Christmas. There's two in each bag, I think. And, oh no, one. Well, that's a rip off. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the one good thing that came out of this pandemic is they started making masks and they made Jaws masks. Uh, I got my Jaws lunchbox. Take this to work every day. Just kidding, I wouldn't take it anywhere. Stays right here. Where it's safe. Where it's safe. <laughs> so I got this limited edition Jaws collector box there a couple of years ago. And it comes with a pretty cool picture. Comes with a couple of little necklaces and a pin badge and a deck of cards. And just England gets a lot of cool stuff too. You know, not only did they produce the Beatles. They produce a lot of really cool Jaws stuff, and had to have it. Pretty much you could print Jaws on toilet paper, and I would buy it and not use it. That's how much I love it. All right. So, moving along, we got... This isn't necessarily Jaws, but it says your Jawsome on it, and it's chocolate. I'm actually surprised it's lasted this long. Originally, I had three of them. Now I only have one. I can't imagine where the other thing went. I had this made, <laughs> piece of wood here, but a friend of mine, she does wood burning, and she put the orca letters on there, which is really cool. Very, very cool. And I got this wine bottle, Coppola wine bottle from Jim Beller, with Jaws on there. Pretty darn cool. I don't drink wine, but I love this bottle. And this is one of the rocks that's that it was sitting on the ground beside uh, Hooper's Rock in um, Gayhead. And... It's, uh, I don't know how it ended up in my possession, but I got it now. So moving on up, Jess. All right, so another thing from Universal Studios, my aunt got for me, just some really cool, really cool keychain. I got this from the vineyard, just a Jaws Fest bag. I wasn't at Jaws Fest, I, didn't, I couldn't go at the time, but uh, next best thing, I've been there three times and it's been great for me. I just got this last week. It's an Amity Police Chief tin gold shield, not tin, gold shield. And some Jaws playing cards, uh, Amity Police badges, a red one and gold ones, which is pretty cool. And found this cup on Kijiji. And here's another Jaws toy that I got. This actually is Funkoverse. It's from the same company over there, I think, but the, my wife just got me this. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, Quint and the Shark. And if I ever want to start making notes, I got myself a Jaws notebook. Uh, I haven't even opened it. I just want to leave it as B. I did get this off Kijiji, of course. Always wanted one. I thought it was really cool. Pretty cool. I can't remember if the mouth opens or not. Well, the only thing that I don't like about this is it it plays the theme, which is cool. And then 
it goes into this. <laughs> kind of takes away from the whole Jaws thing. Yeah, the mouth moves and... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it, won't, it won't shut up now either. Right? I turned it off and it won't turn off. Um, okay. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to do a show here, guys. Yeah. 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 I don't... There's no way to shut this thing up. Yeah. Cut it. I'm seeing. Okay. Sure you don't want to do it one more time? Alright, uh, Jaws Coins, from England as well. Uh, okay, wasn't that funny, kiddo? It actually was. Uh, limited edition Jaws Coins, love it. And a Jaws necklace as well. And I've had some people buy me Jaws socks. <clears throat> so, different style, this is the original, and this is more cartoony-like, but they're Jaws, so had to have them. And the Jaws board game that just came out from Ravensburger, I haven't played it yet, but I opened it up and it's pretty cool, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, this came out in 95. Um, this was the 20th anniversary Laserdisc collection, and at the time I didn't have a Laserdisc player. And they were, I think they were limiting the collection to 10,000, and there was no way that I wasn't going to get one. And I got one, and I'm ever glad I did. It's a great, great documentary on there that... They put the documentary on the DVD and Blu-ray, but they cut it. This has got the whole thing on there, and it's pretty cool. Um, some extra stuff on there, and the only thing that's missing is I wish Spielberg would do a would do a uh, commentary. I don't know why he just doesn't want to have anything to do with it, I guess. But um, this came in my one of my DVD collections. This little film cell from the movie, and then the picture, which is one of my favorite pictures. Um, this here is a Jaws two. Um, like it's I, this is like before Laserdisc, I think. Um, and you, you literally just stuck this in the machine, and and I, I had to have it, but obviously I'll never play it. But it's pretty darn cool. But the technology, my my daughter is like DVD and beyond. I don't really think she knew much about videotape, and now she's seen the old school stuff like this. So pretty cool. You don't know how easy you got it now, Jess. Mm -hmm. Movies at your fingertips. Okay, so we'll start up here. So this is my Laserdisc collection. So I've got a few different versions of the first film on Laserdisc, just because they made different uh, they made different versions. Um, one's a one disc, one's a two disc, and the, the printing is a little different on the back. It's different, so I had to have it. Uh, and then couple of Jaws phone cases. I actually did use this for a little while. It started to break on me, so I put it down, put it in the collection. And then I got this Deadpool thing, which is kind of neat. Uh, so laser discs for one, two, three, and four. I got two copies of each except for the fourth one. I just have one. Um, what else we got here? So as I said, Facebook, you meet so many people. My one friend, Sean, all the way from England, I happened to mention one day he had the barrels on there that he was making. I'll get it. <laughs> and he, uh, pause it. So, as I said before, Facebook is amazing. Um, I happened to comment on somebody's picture in a Jaws group. He had made some barrels, those barrels here. And I commented on how nice they were, how good they looked. And he said, give me your address, I'll send you some. No charge, just you're a fan, I'm a fan, I'll send you some. And Sean and I became really good friends, and I love the guy. And... Uh, yeah, he's, we've traded back and forth different things. I've sent him some stuff. He sent me lots of stuff. And he makes these models, and these and they're amazing. So here's one he made of the floating dock. And he put the barrels underneath, which is really, really cool. One of my favorite pieces. And he made this as well, with Quint in his mouth. 
Very, very cool. And they also made this with the barrel in his mouth. And he also made this one, which is kind of like this one, but a little different. And they're just awesome. They're really, really good. And my daughter made me this one years ago. And I thought it was pretty cool. She even got the marks on the top of the nose, which was kind of neat. Pretty cool. We got a little Jaws bottle opener, I think. And Jaws belt buckle. And I always thought this was funny. Just, it works. Yeah. Uh, got myself a couple cans of the Narangan set beer. Um, got these from Jim Beller. Just some fridge magnets. Pretty cool pictures from the movie. And then up here, I'll try not to knock anything down. So, I've got uh, a couple of the Jaws cookie jars. Uh, the reason why I got two of them is because one of them plays the theme backwards. Oh. That's so weird. Sorry. And, no, that's fine. So normal, and then backwards. <laughs> Don't know, but I had to have them both. Uh, and then I got the really cool, uh, the pop. I only got two of these. I know there's four. I'm, I'm looking to get the other two. Uh, I got stuff to trade. So if anybody's got, can get a hold of the other two, the SDCC one and the other one, I'd love to trade. And this is the Jaws Drain Stopper which uh, I think I opened it to look at it, but it's literally the stick in the drain to stop the, stop the water from, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I've been want, I wanted to get one of these for a while, finding it, and I found it, and, and then same guy, Sean, he sent me this box of the Jaws oops, Super super Scenes uh, piece there. He sent me that. Uh, I just had the box. I thought that was pretty darn cool. Here's one copy of the of the license plate. I've got two of them. This one's just a, a flat replica. Uh, it's going to fall. Um, oh, it's here. So I've also got the original Jaws game here. So here's the box for it, from Ideal. And then here's the actual shark with the hook and everything right here. So you, you, you know the idea, you pick up the pieces and then the jaws close on you, whatever. I'm really gonna try not to knock that down. Also got myself, in case I wanna do some cooking, I got myself a jaws apron right there. But I'm not gonna open it. Okay. Uh, coming across here, got myself a nice little jaws mug. And the Jaws Nintendo game. Horrible game, but cool to have the cartridge. And got this for Christmas a couple years ago. A little Jaws. No, no money in it, of course. Might as well be my wallet because there's no money in it. All right. Little Jaws shot glass. I got my from my friend Ken. And in case I ever want to carry a purse around, I got myself a Jaws purse. Night out with the guys, pop open the purse. And I got three different Jaws Zippos here. They don't have any fluid in them because I don't smoke. But the first one I bought, the other two were gifts. A uh, couple of uh, cozies here. One I got from my friend Adam, who I'll we'll talk about later. And another one I got from my friend Stu, who's another another Jaws friend. And this guy's in New Zealand. And we constantly send each, send each other stuff back and forth. And he's an awesome guy. Uh, my friend Wayne made this sign as well, this Orca sign. I thought it was really, really cool. I had to have it. Grabbed it. These pictures, I don't know if you can see them. But I'll show them to you here. That's me with the fin from Jaws and Jaws 2. And... That's me sitting basically on Quint's chair and holding Quint's rod. And there's the strap that he had to put around with the fishing reel. All this stuff belongs to my good friend Peter, who lives in Rhode Island, and allowed me to come to his house. He's such a nice guy, 
And he allowed me to come to his house and look at this stuff and just drool over it. So nice. And I just got these Jaws coins and it came with Jaws poker chips. And these really cool rare coins. Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy duty stuff. I like this because it's got, shows you kind of like the contraption that they use, the mechanics that they use to make the shark work, which is pretty cool. Ah, um, so you see here my Jaws curtains. I want Maggie to talk about this first. So this here, this is right from 78. This is a Jaws soundtrack display that was in a record store that I got off of somebody on Kijiji. I had been negotiating with him for like a year and a half and I finally, he was way out of town and sure enough, I just put it on Facebook. If any of my friends live in this certain town, let me know. One friend had another friend that lived in that town. Boom, they picked it up and he delivered it to me. And it's really, really cool. It's in mint condition. It just floats from the ceiling and it's just a Jaws 2 display, which is pretty darn cool. Don't see these anywhere. So my Jaws curtains, uh, my wife bought me these because I had no curtains at all. And my wife got me these and, uh, and they, they're perfect for covering up the windows. But I'll open them up here and show you what I got. So I just got these for Christmas, these two Jaws pillows. My daughter, one of my other daughters had these made. Uh, I like this, smile you son of a bitch. Pretty cool, Amity Harbor Patrol. Very cool. Here's a collection of just some magazines. Uh, the real Jaws fans will know the significance of this National Geographic from uh, February 68. And you'll recognize some of the pictures from inside of the, the, the magazine that were used in the film. That is one of my favorite pictures, seeing that. And of course, this is a world famous picture, all taken right from the film. Pretty darn cool. And it's a mint condition magazine, which I was really happy to get. A um, couple of other, like Empire magazine that had shark stuff in it. This is a really cool, if you can get this on eBay, I suggest getting it. It's a really cool magazine from uh, October 95. And it's a uh, premier magazine. It's out of print now, of course. But uh, there's a really good article of Jaws in here. Really in-depth interviews with everybody. It's very good. Um, so, there's the Bible of Jaws reference. Jaws Memories book by Matt Taylor with, of course, Jim Beller. And I have two copies, actually. I have one unopened and one that I use because I bring this with me whenever I go to the vineyard and I get it autographed by everybody. So that's what these yellow tags are. You'll see that yellow tag. So here's autographs from Lynn Murphy and Susan Murphy who worked on the film. I'm very happy to get that. Uh, Herschel West, he's passed away now too. God bless him, real nice guy. Uh, there's Lynn Murphy again, very sweet man. And this is, this is the ultimate reference book. If you're ever going to go to Martha's Vineyard for anything, or you ever want to talk to anybody from Jaws, this book is the Bible. And I actually just, just bought this off of somebody on Facebook. It was just a newspaper article from February 1980, and it was an advertisement for Jaws 2 in the theater. Just the Toronto Sun, and I just had to have it because it's a great little piece, so I just had to have it. Call me a nerd. I don't care. Uh, you probably recognize this. It only came out this summer. I have a few copies of this just because it's a great magazine. Um, I got this Jaws Fest tribute magazine in the mail right before. I got this from, from Lou Pisano. We were trading things on Facebook and I bought this off him. And right after I got it, the man passed away. I literally got it in the mail and then he passed away right afterwards. So rest in peace, Lou, because this, I never got to go to this and he got me this and I was very happy to get it. So here's some Jaws logs here. You, know, you can see them because of the sun, Jess. Can you see yeah, them? Right? Yeah. All right, so I forgot this recently. This is a French version of the Jaws log. It doesn't look like it's been opened very much. Which, because you can see the English version is all puffy, and but the French version is in pretty darn good condition, and it's mint, and it just happens to be in French. And I thought I gotta have it; it's pretty cool. And then, of course, this is the one I read this a thousand times, 
And then I didn't even know this existed until actually Lou Pisano told me, and he told me about it. And I actually found two different versions of this on eBay, and so I've got them both now, which I'm really happy about. I haven't read them yet because I suspect that the book that Lou and Michael wrote is much, much better and much more detailed. Uh, this was a Jaws um, display from Future Shop, which is kind of like Canada's version of Best Buy. Future Shop's gone now. But this was a display that's kind of been beaten up a bit, but uh, I got that from Future Shop and I'm glad to take it. I had this chair made, just a, just a chair uh -huh. to sit on, but I had the logo put on, which is pretty nice. I don't ever sit on it because I don't want to break it. Um, here's some copies of Jaws 2, two different versions. One's got the, ski, uh, the water skier, the other one doesn't. Uh, had to have it. And just a copy of the novel for the revenge. Um, Again, friends, people see these things and they think of me and they grab them. Somebody grabbed this book for me and, and it's just a copy. It's a copy of the book and it's one of the first printings and they just got it for me. And then I found this one on eBay, same thing, and just had to have it. It's a different copy of the book. This book here, uh, th there's a website that has, um, a website that has a lot of a listings of the books that Brody had on his bookshelf. It's actually called Brody's Bookshelf. And it actually has a list of all the books that were on his bookshelf on that scene. And uh, this is one of them. There's a few pictures from the movie in here as well. So here is the phone book from Martha's Vineyard. Uh, I don't know how I ended up with it, but I it somehow ended up in my bags. When uh, I was leaving, it's a great reference book for a couple people that were from the film that that still live down there. Um, speaking of Lou Pisano, I have his I have his videos here, the movies that he made. These are great references for going to see the going to Martha's Vineyard, and the first two are really really good for trying to find trying to find places locations from the film. <laughs> you okay, kiddo? All right. uh, That's funny. Yeah. Uh, well, it's here. So I'll close this curtain just to show you over here. Why don't you come over here? So these are my collections of sand from the different locations in the Meribad Beach, Chappaquiddick. And I collected it on July 30th, 2016. Um, different, this was the uh, South Beach and, and uh, Menemsha, which was where Quince Shack was. Um, different versions of the, of the, the movie, Jaws DVD, special edition. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a picture of me holding Quint's gun. Uh, the Ben Davids, that's Mr. Ben David in the background there. Uh, his son Renee was in the first film and, uh, not only to let me come over and look at the gun and hold it and whatever, he even gave me a bullet, which is in this little shadow case here, which I was quite happy to have. Uh, and my friend Ken had this sign made, one of the reward signs. It's pretty cool. I just like it a lot. And if you look right above it, there's me and Ken and a very happy looking Mr. Dreyfus. Uh, don't let it fool you. Uh, he was in a great mood. They literally just snapped the picture when he was in mid smile. And he looks miserable, but he couldn't have been any nicer. Um, here's some different copies of the books. Uh, this is another great book that I've read a lot The Making of Jaws by Edith Blake. I got the, was fortunate enough to meet her. And uh, I had a couple of old copies of the books that I couldn't find at the time, but I ended up buying a different version of the book online and got her to sign that. Uh, so it was really nice for her to sign. More different copies of the book here and the Jaws log and, and uh, here's the making of Jaws 2 um, by Michael and Lou and it's pretty awesome. Um, Jaws PlayStation game, Jaws Xbox game. More another rock. I don't know how that ended up there. Um, What's that up top? This here. This is a. This is a little Jaws. Oops. This is a little Jaws headgear. For anybody that wants to put it on. Can we see? It, sorry. Can we see? You want to see it on my head? Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, I'm gonna kill you when this <laughs> is over. So, so you put it on like so. You want to go out and pick up chicks? You take this with you? <laughs> and it's pretty cool. 
That's awesome, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I got a pair of Jaws shorts here that a friend of mine bought me, and uh, the only reason why they're hanging here is because I can't fit into them. They're not quite my size. But right above here, so this is a Jaws shower curtain that my wife would not let me hang up in the shower, so it's hanging on the wall. And then I got this really cool shirt from Martha's Vineyard. One of the t-shirt shops had this shirt up for sale, and we did some wheeling and dealing, and uh, we bought. We bought two of them, actually, uh, which is pretty cool. All right. Over here is just some stickers that I've collected over the years online and at Martha's Vineyard. Just little different stickers of pretty cool stuff. Uh, my friend Kevin just got me this. It's a Mad Magazine Summer Survival Guide. There's nothing in it about Jaws, but the picture's on the cover, and it's pretty cool. So here's a collection of the Cracked and Mag magazines that have come out over the years, 75. and 70. I really got lucky. I got this for $4, mint condition, and just crazy. And then even like a cool little Jaws bottle opener from the States. Uh, up here, a couple of comics. Here's a Jughead from an Archie magazine. And they're going to see Jowls too, so I had to have it. And then this was the Superman comic where he's going after the shark, which is pretty neat to have. My friend Dan got me that. Uh, more stickers, uh, some individual cards that I got from my friend Jim Beller. Uh, here's a collection of some Jaws VHS and Beta. I've got some more Beta coming, but Jaws 2 on Beta. My daughter doesn't even know what beta is, um, but the different versions of the film on VHS, collector's version, you can see this one's kind of faded, one's made, in, one's made for Canada, the other one's made for the States, whoops, and this one here, this one here was England or Australia? Uh, UK, England, so this is a different... Uh, Different back, different cover, and I was like, I got this for, I think, five bucks, and it's a 20th anniversary. It's pretty cool, right from England. And then, of course, the dual cassette version that came out in 2005, I think. Uh, I just got this one. This is a Japanese version of Jaws 2. So, if I, if I hook it up, I'm sure I'd like to hear all the, all the overdubbing. Of it, but it's pretty cool. It's got the Japanese credits for the film and stuff. Pretty neat. I have a couple of different versions of the Revenge on VHS. This is like a cheap version, but it's a different cover, so I thought, ah, I'll just get it. And uh, I was happy to have it. My daughter got me this sticker. You're going to need a bigger boat. I like it. Uh, I'll go up here to this poster here. It's a cool picture. Wrong damn quote. So, of course, it says we're going to need a bigger boat, and it should be you're going to need a bigger boat, but the picture's great. I almost thought about cutting it across here just because I thought, nah, I don't want to cut it. And then I've got the, the lobby. Oh, I should show this. So this here, this is a picture from the film of Brody's dock. And so last time I was in the vineyard, we went down there, and we were looking at the dock, and I was, then they let me go on the dock and have to take a couple pictures and everything. And uh, there was a piece, I, I don't know how that got here, but I got a piece of the dock here, so it's pretty cool. Um, here's some Jaws lobby cards and mini lobby cards. Uh, I was able to get, uh, able to put these in two frames and frame them on the wall here. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I guess we'll start with the autographs. So, let's start here. So, just started finding people on Facebook, or I uh, obviously went to meet Richard Dreyfus. So I make these posters up, and I put a collection of the pitch, some of my favorite pictures from the film in there. So uh, Richard Dreyfus, and then uh, a couple of years later, drove down to Long Island to meet uh, Susan Backlinny. She was a sweetheart. Uh, been in touch with Carl Gottlieb. He was really, really nice. He signed these for me, no problem at all. God bless Lee Fierro. Uh, got to went to the vineyard and got to meet her and took her out to lunch. And she couldn't have been any nicer. She signed these. We just lost her to COVID a year ago, but she was such a sweetheart. 
And then uh, Jeff Voorhees, who played Alex Kintner, he is such a nice guy. He is so patient. We'll sign 100 autographs for you, take pictures, tell stories. Super nice guy. Good old Herschel West. Uh, he passed away not too long after I met him. And I printed this poster up, and I was talking to him about the film. And I said, what do you remember? And he goes, I had a little dog. And because he talked about his little dog that he had with him. Poor guy. He was like 90 years old and still working at the, at the fish... Uh, Fishing place there, but working hard every day. I guess that's what they do down there. And then through my friend Anthony, I've been I got traded and got some autographs from him. I was very happy to get Carla Hogendike, got her autograph, which is really cool. And I got myself a Roy Scheider and Carl Gottlieb. I was really happy to get this. Uh, I wish I'd met him, Chief Brody. Wow, would have been awesome to meet him. Um, and just recently, I got a hold of uh, Billy Van Zant, and I got a couple posters signed by him. But I wanted to get this this edited out version, this um, deleted scene from Jaws 2 that they have somewhere, and hopefully they release it one day. But what a great picture, what a great scene that would have been in Jaws 2. So we'll go over here. So there's Billy Van Zandt again, and he signed a bigger poster with a bunch of different pictures on it. And then Jean Coulter, I found her on Facebook as well. Really, really nice lady. She was the stunt woman that played the, the water skier boat driver, boat driver. And uh, she was really, really sweet. Sent my pictures back to me. Um, Michael Hayden, the guitar player from the first film. Uh, he was really nice as well. He was able to sign this for me. And then I got another Susan Backlin autograph here. Uh, my, da my daughter got me this clock. And I got this clock. Two different ones. I thought it was pretty cool. 